What's happening, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. On this segment, we are going to go over Jack Hermanson versus Sean Strickland. That one's going down this weekend. Should be a fun one. Let's get into it. All right, starting with the Joker, Jack Hermanson. Hermanson is 33 years old. He's six foot one, 77 and a half inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 22 wins, six losses. 11 wins by KOTKO, six wins via submission well-rounded game right now jack hermanson is number six in the ufc middleweight rankings he's the former middleweight champion of cage warriors and warrior fight series jack won his last fight against edmund shabazian that was a unanimous decision before that he lost to marvin vittori prior to that it went over kevin gastelum and then before that a loss to jared cannoneer so spotty record in the last few years as far as Jack Hermanson's fight style, Jack Hermanson is definitely more of a grappler, jujitsu specialist. He has great leg locks. Just a pretty solid all around grappling game. His wrestling's adequate, it's not great, at least in mixed martial arts. His striking, the same. It's about average. He's improving with every fight, but it's definitely not his forte. If Jack gets you on the mat, that's where he shines with submission attempts, with ground and pound, with control, just pretty much wears you out. Jack Hermanson's a really solid fighter. I like him a lot. A very likable guy outside of the cage as well. Moving on now to Sean Strickland. Strickland is 30 years old, six foot one, 76 inch reach. Mixed martial arts record, 24 wins, three losses, 10 wins via KOTKO, four wins via submission. He is a brown belt in BJJ. To my understanding, he does have fairly extensive training in boxing. He is the former King of the Cage middleweight champ. Right now, he is number seven in the UFC middleweight rankings. Strickland right now is on fire. He's on a five-fight win streak. His last win was against Uriah Hall. He won that via unanimous decision. Pretty much walked Uriah Hall down. As far as Sean Strickland's fight style... He's a maniac. He's a maniac outside of the cage, and he's a maniac in the cage. The guy loves to bang, loves to get into wars. I would say he's primarily a striker. Loves to engage, get in the pocket, bang. I think he has a great chin. Pretty solid takedown defense. Has never been submitted in his career. I would say his submission defense is solid. Tough customer. Strickland is a hill to climb for any opponent. All right, guys, so how could this fight possibly play out? To get to the point, I favor Sean Strickland. I think Sean Strickland has the momentum right now. I think physically he matches up really well to Hermanson. Strickland is a brute. I think he's going to be stronger than Hermanson. Not to say that Jack's weak by any means, but I think Sean Strickland is probably going to walk down Jack Hermanson. I think Hermanson is going to have difficulty taking Strickland down based off of his strength. Again, solid takedown defense. If the fight hits the mat, yeah, I probably would be inclined to give the edge to Jack Hermanson. That's in pure grappling. But with everything that encompasses MMA, with strikes, with the scrambling, things kind of get equalized. Strickland's tough. He's a savage. He's constantly on attack mode. He puts the pressure on you. And if you can't hang, you can't hang on the feet, you are going to have a problem. I think standing, Sean Strickland is more effective than Jack Hermanson. Jack Hermanson actually has some pretty good technique. He looks good standing, but I don't think he's particularly dangerous standing. Sean Strickland is more likely to clobber you as opposed to Jack Hermanson. So edge on the feet, Sean Strickland. Edge on the ground, maybe Jack Hermanson, depending Jack's best bet is to initiate grappling, initiate clinching, try to get Strickland against the cage, try to sap some of his energy, lean on him, work for takedowns often, because that's going to play dividends later in the fight. If Strickland gasses or loses some steam, might create a window for Jack Hermanson to take over the fight on the mat. If this fight stays standing, I really do think that Jack Hermanson is going to have a problem. I think it's imperative he gets the fight to the mat and grapples often. 
how I think this fight's going to play out. I think Strickland is going to keep the fight on the feet. I think he is going to prove difficult to take down. I think he's going to beat up Jack Hermanson standing. Possible TKO. Maybe dominant decision. But yeah, definitely money is on Sean Strickland. No hate on Jack Hermanson. I actually like him a lot. So kind of like heart with Hermanson, head is with Sean Strickland. Final pick, Sean Strickland. Anyway, you guys let me know in the comment section who takes this fight and why. If this is your first time at the channel, hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Like and share. That's important. It helps the channel grow. Appreciate that, guys. And until the next one, you all take care. Enjoy this fight. We'll come back and talk about it after it takes place. Take care, guys.